Good morning everybody. It's a beautiful day again as you can see and I'm back on my pasture land. Um, I found uh, this uh, little footpath here and it's a very old one because I found the uh, um, like uh, milestones uh, side of the uh, path and uh, that gives me some hope that I could come up with some nice finds here. I will give it a try. It's part of my permitted land. So let's see how I get on here and uh, I'll be back when I got my first find. First find, iron ring. Uh, yeah, I don't know, but uh, I think this um, path here has been detected before because uh, it's a quite old one. I can see it on the milestones, you know, and uh, I don't know. It's not very realistic to uh, detect the path of this age and find nothing. So maybe someone was faster than me. <laughs> yeah, I had to leave uh, the footpath, only junk, you know, uh, so I, I'm quite sure that it has been detected in the past. So I give my pasture land here a try. Let's go. Look here. I think this is part of a buckle. And uh, according to the green patina and the shape, it is quite old. And that give me, gives me hope. <laughs> because I don't know. I think you know the feeling uh, when you enter a new spot and you're uh, receiving only trash signals and uh, nothing else. Uh, you, you panic a bit. <laughs> but this is uh, yeah, a tranquilizer for me now because that means that there's a bit of history on this field here. You can't imagine how happy I am about this button here. It's a sign of life, you know. But I can't go anywhere else. It's too late. So I have to stick to this side and uh, make the best out of it. So, yeah, this is a highlight here. Yeah, here we have a small spoon. Can't tell you anything about it. Yeah. Maybe you, Dave, from Relic Hunting Scotland. <laughs> I, I've learned that you got some experience with spoons. So please tell me what I have here. <laughs> Yeah guys, I have to split the video again. This place is littered with aluminium foil and I just have to quit for today. So, see you in part two of the video. Good morning, welcome to part two of my video. Uh, the, the weather is lovely, you know. Clear sky, sun. Uh, it's a bit windy, so I have to protect the camera against wind noise again. <laughs> So uh, yeah, wish me luck that I uh, yeah will find something here because last time was just horrible, I tell you. <laughs> so um, yeah, let's see what uh, I will find here, and uh, yeah, I'll be back when I got my first find. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying not to freak out here because uh, I don't know, but. Uh, after digging a ton of aluminium foil, I found this and it is made out of bronze and it it looks very interesting. It looks very interesting. I'm not an expert when it comes to things like that. It's a stature, you know, but look at it. I think it's a horse.
can be 100 years old, but it can also be, I don't know, hundreds if not thousands of years old. I tend to be over optimistic sometimes, but that's something I think every metal detectorist uh, got in yeah, his or her blood, you know. <laughs> you always think uh, you found treasure. But take a look at it. I mean, the patina and the way it is worked, you know. I don't know. I will find out. I will take a picture and send the photograph to my archaeologist and he... I think he will uh, see what it is by one spot. <laughs> Great. Here we have a small pistol ball. And if you wonder what this extra bit of uh, lead is, uh, just watch my video number 17 about old guns and there you will find an explanation. Look at my next find. <laughs> yeah, there's a bit of metal in it, so that's why I uh, got a signal, you know. <laughs> it's an alien or something like that. Look here, I'm starting to find um, bits of um, old bronze. Uh, and this is always a good sign. That's my experience. Uh, yeah, hopefully I will come up with something nice here. Here we have a small lead bag seal. Take a look at this massive buckle here. Bronze, very heavy. Yeah, it's modest. Uh, has definitely something to do with horses. Yeah, I wanted to do a live dig, <laughs> but you know, it's so windy. <clears throat> Maybe uh, when the wind is gone today, I can do a, a few live ticks. A very good signal, but I think maybe too good. And too shallow, I think. But it uh, looks quite interesting. 
don't know what it is. Hmm. No idea what it could be, but it it's made out of brass, I think, or copper. And yeah, looks like a button with six holes. <laughs> So, out of this hole came this piece of bronze and you see the letters N and I and uh, yeah, don't know what it could be, but uh, it's interesting. Look at this thin, small piece of copper or brass. Here we have a key. Not very old. Yeah, I think that is the closest I get to silver today. A silver looking button. Look at this, another ancient looking artifact. Yeah, I don't understand this field here. You have, um, I don't know, you, you walk for hours and you find only trash like aluminum foil. And then suddenly the horse head, then a few hours again, nothing. <laughs> and then suddenly you find something like this here. So yeah, don't know what I should think about this field here. Can you see this here? I didn't touch it. It's... Ah, could, this, could this be a Cistercius, a Roman coin? Oh, it's quite... Uh, oh, okay, what's going on here? Ah, oh, shit! <laughs> Sorry for that. Ach, to meine Güte. No, it's not a Cistercius, as you can see. Don't know what it is, but it's made out of, I don't know, bronze or brass. Yeah. Oh, I thought it's a Cistercius. Ay, ay, ay. That would have been the proof that uh, my finds I did before, uh, the interesting ones, um, were like ancient. Still not sure. Finds of today, the horse head, buckle, strange object, musket ball, lead back seal. We have a key, strange object, <laughs> a button. This is a button too. I don't know what this is. This is a bronze fragment as well, maybe from a from a um, bell again. I don't know. This I found yesterday. It's a spoon, and this is part of a buckle uh, which I've also found yesterday. But um, find of the day, of course, is. Uh, this beautiful horse head here. Still don't know if it is something or not. Look at this giant pile of scrap and uh, I don't know. I hope <laughs> you can imagine how exhausting it was in the two days, you know. Uh, junk everywhere you know and uh, but it is always interesting you know you come to a field and you start digging trash and trash and trash and normally you would think oh leave this uh, place as, as fast as you can 
but uh, you see if you stick to it and you you search between the trash you can always come up with something nice and i think uh, a few of these relics i took today are yeah quite nice so um if you haven't got another place to go just uh, test your own patience and uh, hang in there and uh, you see what you will find then yeah guys that's it for today i'm going home it was a long day five hours without a break <laughs> my back hurts um, yeah you saw the result um, i love the horse head you know it's very interesting as soon as i have found out what it is i will tell you yeah uh, and another thing i cleared this area from trash you know <laughs> a lot of trash i tell you you already saw it so i wish you all the best good luck and happy hunting on your tours you know and i hope you follow me on my next hunt um, all the best to you bye bye and auf wiedersehen